Robert Weinreb. Uh, I'm from the Shiley Eye Institute at the University of California, San Diego in La Jolla, California. Our current understanding of both the conventional and unconventional outflow pathways uh, continues to grow. Uh, we know that both the conventional pathway and the unconventional pathway are critically important to regulating the intraocular pressure. With respect to the unconventional pathway through the uveoscleral outflow, we recognize that it, it seems to be regulated by extracellular matrix. It comprises a major component of total outflow. In some individuals, it might be as much as 50% tends to decrease uh, percentage-wise as we get older. Uh, some of the widely used drugs that we use for treating glaucoma alter the extracellular matrix and uveoscleral outflow pathway and reduce intraocular pressure. The trabecular mesh work uh, has been of intense interest uh, of many scientists for more than 40 years. Uh, we've studied it in the laboratory and we study it in our patients. And increasingly we realize that there is a large component of the resistance that takes place not within the trabecular meshwork itself, but in the distal pathways of the outflow uh, pathway, including the collector channels. And many of the types of surgeries that we use today are directed at those distal components of the outflow pathway and bypass the trabecular meshwork. So controlled glaucoma is a, is a term that has relative meaning depending on the context in which it's being described. In clinical practice, we think about controlled glaucoma as glaucoma uh, that is not progressing and a glaucoma uh, therapy that is well tolerated by the patient. We typically measure the, the uh, the stage of the glaucoma, we estimate the risk of progression, and then we measure progression. And in controlled glaucoma, progression is limited to what is age-related, and we remove the disease component. And we monitor it by looking at structure and function. We use the OCT to look at structure, and we use visual field testing to look at function.